So I'd like to kind of start all the way on the opposite side of the spectrum as far as arguing, fighting, irritation. What would you say is the number one reason why people fight? Yeah. Well, this is this is interesting, right? Because there's so many different things that we could fight about. It could be the way we're unloading or loading the dishwasher. It could be the fact that this colleague is sending us too many emails. It could be right. There's so there's an infinite possibility, like infinite possibilities in terms of content as to why we might fight. But it actually all boils down into one thing. If we take all those details and we boil it down into its essence and the number one reason that people fight is objection to difference because the brain is hardwired to view difference as dangerous, even if it's not right. But the number one reason people fight really is it's objection to difference. It's not the difference, but it's the objection to it. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to think of every single argument I've ever had. And I would totally agree with that. Yeah. It's wild how it can be boiled down into something so seemingly simple. Um, Yeah. So I'm seeing it one way mm -hmm. with the projection of my life story. Mm -hmm. And then they're seeing it their way with the projection of their life story and the difference. Yeah. Honestly, and the way that you're describing that really reminds me of the, you know, the way that I define stress when I'm doing my general stress management work, which is stress equals the thing plus the perception of the thing. Stress equals the thing plus the perception of the thing. And so we all have our different perceptions. A great example of this, I use this example all the time, is, you know, for me, I grew up in Maryland and a part of Maryland where we had a lot of dams in our rivers. And I would hear these stories about people going over the dam and dying or being severely injured. And so I ended up developing this perception or this fear that if I go kayaking or canoeing in a river, a dam could just show up out of nowhere and I would go over and I, that would be the end of me. And so I had this fear. The thing is kayaking or canoeing. The perception is a dam could come out of anywhere and I could be seriously injured. I, and I remember going to my father one day and being like, can you believe that this friend wants to just plop a kayak in the river and just see what happens? That's insane. And my dad being like, Okay, here's the thing, kayaking. And his perception of this thing is like, wait a second, hold on. You know, if you kayak against the current, you will never find yourself at the top of a dam. You will only find yourself at the bottom. You kayak against the current and then you float back home. You will never find yourself in harm's way in that sense. And I was like, wait, hold on. It's a totally different perception. But again, it's the thing plus the perception of the thing that creates our stress levels. Wow. That's really, really insightful. Thank you. Yeah, my 